everyone. This is Terry Aldridge from terryscraftroom.com. I'm back today and we're going to make this really cute, adorable, and functional easel post-it note holder. So it, it has an easel back so you can set it on your desk just like that. Just like so. And the nice thing about it is it's got a pen that comes with it. It's got a pen holder and we're going to personalize the pen so that it matches the post-it note holder. Let's get started. So what you basically need is one piece of cardstock. You're going to have this much left over from one sheet of cardstock. So we're going to cut one piece that is three and three quarters by eleven and then out of the other piece it's already four and three quarters and then you're going to cut it at seven and a quarter inches and then out of the small piece that's left because here's what we've cut out already so out of this piece here you're going to cut a piece that's two and five eighths by two and a half. Now let's get scoring. So on the piece that's three and three quarters by eleven, we're going to put it across our scoreboard here, and we are going to score at four inches, eight inches, nine inches and 10 inches. Now let's set that one aside. And on the 4 and 3 quarter by 7 inch one, we're going to score, we're going to have the short side across the top, and we're going to score at a half an inch, turn it around, score it at a half an inch. And then, we're going to score the long side at two and three quarters and three and a quarter. Okay, we'll set that aside. Now this little piece, this is our pen holder, and you want to put the side that is two and a half inches across the top, and we're going to score it every half inch. So half inch, one, one and a half and two. There we go. Okay, that's all our scoring done. Now let's assemble it. So let's grab this piece here and we're going to fold and burnish all our score lines. And this is actually the holder part of the, the that hold the part that po holds the post-it notes. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut up this score line right here, just to the sc first score line. So we're making little tabs, and then we're just going to miter out so that it lays flat. Okay. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. When you cut a 3D project like this. You notice I'm cutting to the outside of the score lines. So this is my tab. Here's my score line. I cut on this side of the score line. It just makes it lay nicer. So you're basically cutting away your score lines. Okay, so now we're going to... This is what it will look like once we put it together. But before we put it together, it's much easier to put your um, your DSP on while it's laying flat. Now, what you need to remember, though, is if you have a directional paper, you need to remember where which way is up. So we need to decorate this surface and this surface. So. We're going to put this one on first. And I've got this beautiful fleur de lis paper 
that's out of the Stampin' Up! 2020 mini catalog. Okay, and then we're going to do this surface. And this paper, this designer series paper is called Parisian Blossom Specialty Designer Series Paper. And it's a beautiful, beautiful designer series paper. And it has, I don't know if you can see it, look at the Eiffel Towers here. There, it has foil elements on, the pa on some of the papers. And they're just beautiful. There you go, you can see that. So, it's a beautiful pack of paper. There we go. So this is how it's going to look once we put it together. So let's go ahead and get that out of the way. Now with 3D projects, I tend to use my wet glue a little bit more often than than my dry glue or or runner tape runners or anything like that because I want to give myself a second or two for the glue to for me to be able to move my project around so there's one side And you notice I'm putting I'm putting the flap to the outside of the first of of this flap and that's intentional. The reason for that is so we're a little bit off there. The reason for that is when I put my um, post-it note holder in there, I don't want it getting caught on that little tab as I slide it down. Okay, so there we have have it, and then I'm going to take and just trim these down here, just like that. Okay, so there's the holder part. Let's get the easel part. And the easel part's pretty easy. You just fold and burnish. The score lines but here where we have three score lines in a row the second the middle score line you want to go the opposite way of your other two so that you have this configuration and so we're going to glue here this these two pieces together go and then we're going to glue this onto the back of here Once you've got it all lined up, you can just lay it flat and take your bone folder 
and give it a good press just to get that glue smushed out and get it to engage with your cardstock. There we go. Okay, almost done. Now this last piece, remember we scored it at every half inch, so let's fold and burnish that. And what we're going to do is we're going to fold that into a little square, a little tube actually. And yeah. And then we're going to just And this you won't be able to get your bone folder into get that glue engaged, but you can put a pen in it. Okay, now you want to put glue on a couple sides of this. And then I'm going to see how I'm, I'm bending it a little bit to get this in, and then I'm going to actually glue it in to the side here, just like that. And once again, you can use your pen to get it to stick to the sides. Okay, now the last thing is to, to personalize our pen. And what we need is a piece of paper that is three and a quarter by three quarters of an inch that matches your, your, um, your post-it holder. And so I'm going to take my bone folder and I'm just going to round it long ways. And that way when I try to round it, it will stay round and won't try to bend. There we go. So that's what I did. Now I'm going to take it and wrap it around my pen to really round it more. And then Then we have to take this tip, and this will work with any um, Bic pen. I happen to get these pens at the dollar store. And I'm going to really wrap this tightly so that it's a tight circle just like this. And I'm going to stick it down inside my pen right around that ink part and you kind of want it a little bit smaller than you need it and then it'll expand once it's inside there just like that and then once you've got that what did, where did my there's the little tab you just put that right back on and there we have it our desktop post-it no easel oh so if you notice this is a little bit plain isn't it so let's uh, decorate it so I've got a, a couple of leaves here that I punched out from the leaf punch and I'm just going to give them a little bit of dimension and then here's a sprig from that same from a, the sprig punch take one of these beautiful flowers and put that on the front of it and if you want to I just did a tutorial on how to make these flowers and uh, I'll uh, I'll add the uh, the link to that in the description but there you go there's some really cute and easy 
great for a gift, a small gift, a teacher's gift, um, and quick, easy project. Have a wonderful day. I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my channel and uh, check out terryscraftroom.com for more inspiration. Bye now.